Welcome back. In the final installment of this series, we'll be looking at useful resources for mastering specialized language. Resource, a source of help or information. Specialized language often seems complex, difficult to understand, or demanding to produce in a relevant and accurate way. This view is entirely natural, especially the first time you encounter the specialized language of your own area of study. But fear not. Whether you are a newcomer or an expert user of this kind of language, there are plenty of resources available to teach you how to use it, to navigate the specific requirements of your academic or professional field, and to apply it correctly. In other words, you're not alone. Just as with general language, there is a wide range of specialized language resources offering different types of help. Dictionaries, books, websites, writing centers, courses, your own teachers. Although each area has its own specific resources, they are often useful or even directly applicable to related areas too. For instance, certain terminology may be shareable across a range of disciplines. Referencing and citing requirements are often the same for all the sciences, all the social sciences, all the humanities, and so on. So let's take a closer look at one of our examples. Referencing is an important resource in the academic world. While you may not immediately think of referencing systems as resources, at least not in the sense of, say, dictionaries, because they are a direct source of help providing specific guidelines for formal academic tasks, that's exactly what they are. Referencing refers to how the titles, authors, and other details of books, journal articles, audiovisual materials, or presentations are indicated in bibliographies, endnotes, or footnotes. Although the system used in each case may appear complicated, there are actually international standards for each academic area, which offer clear guidance on what to do. For instance, let's say you are studying a subject in the social sciences, such as psychology, linguistics, or business. You will probably be expected to use the American Psychological Association, or APA, guidelines. The fact that so many different areas all use the same guidelines makes things easier. It also means there are plenty of guides online and in print. Because, of course, you can't just refer to works any way you like, at least not in an academic context. There are established guidelines for what information to include for each work, in what order, and in what format. For instance, let's say you're writing a paper for a psychology class. Here's what the APA has to say about how to cite journal articles you refer to in your bibliography. The basic APA style. APA style dictates that authors are named last name followed by initials. Publication year goes between parentheses followed by a period. The title of the article is in sentence case, meaning only the first word and proper nouns in the title are capitalized. The periodical title is run in title case and is followed by the volume number, which, with the title, is also italicized. Whatever your area of knowledge, the key thing to remember is that whether you are writing a class paper, a book, a journal article, or a presentation, the basic system of referencing will be the same in your general area. Like riding a bike, once you've been doing it for a while, it will become second nature. Other more specific language resources that are also worth becoming familiar with, particularly for students in Catalonia and certain other multilingual settings, are those offered by the Vivas Network, the organization of Catalan-speaking universities. Its terminology and nomenclature group has produced numerous multilingual lexicons and vocabularies, all of which are included in Multidiccionari. Multidiccionari is a multilingual online database containing around 10,000 terms from fields ranging from botany and political science to nursing or musical education. Additionally, in the field of terminology in Catalan, the TermCat Terminology Center is an outstanding resource. But because it's essentially a multilingual database, it's also a powerful tool for finding specialist terminology in English. TermCat's main objectives are to plan and coordinate the search, standardization, storage, and dissemination of terminology in Catalan, working with linguists and specialists to establish the best alternatives in Catalan for terms that present denominative or conceptual difficulties. Among the most valuable TermCat resources are Neoloteca and CircaTerm. Neoloteca is an online dictionary of Catalan neologisms that have been standardized and arranged thematically with definitions and equivalences in other languages. 
It currently has about 10,000 entries from the fields of arts, science, technology, sports, and so on. Circaterm is an automated terminology query service that allows you to clarify any terminological doubts you might have when writing specialized tests. Its website has over 200,000 terminology files on specific terms with English equivalences, as well as a variety of other terminological resources, all of which are constantly updated. In addition to Neoloteca and Circaterm, another powerful term cat resource is the online terminology library. It is a compilation of references to all terminology collections in online or physical format that include Catalan, classified thematically. It offers dictionaries, vocabularies, lexicons, nomenclatures, and so on. Finally, as we said at the start, remember, you're not alone when it comes to finding and managing resources. Most universities provide their students with services and organizations specifically intended to help them with this requirement. They offer technical and specialist guidance from their language services. For example, here are the websites of three university language services in Catalonia the Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona Language Service, the Rovira i Virgili University Language Service, the University of Girona Modern Languages Service. All these pages provide a range of language resources, some general, others quite specific. Check out your own university's language service to find out what kind of support they provide. Language services usually provide support for the translation and correction of texts, However, for people who need to gain a fuller control of their own language production, they also provide the following. Style guides, nomenclatures, language usage guidance, model documents, assistance with presentations, and advice on specific academic resources, such as technical dictionaries. Additionally, university language services create tailor-made language materials and produce other products that generally aim to improve users' ability in specialist language. Of particular relevance here are dedicated resources, such as the inter-university guides to writing in specific disciplines, which offer clear and direct help for writing effectively in these ambits. So get to know the language service at your own university. Find out what kind of support it offers you'll find that a lot of the hard work required to become proficient in your specialized language has already been done for you.